Good morning. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I am going to be working on the stream today in here. It's been a really long time since I've made a video. And the only reason I'm making it is because I got an email from YouTube yesterday that said that they'll, they're going to be um, basically downgrading my access to YouTube because of lack of... Um, uh, What's the word? I don't remember exactly. Maybe engagement. I, I don't remember exactly what they said. So it was a little bit hard for me to understand the timing of it. It's something like 30 days, maybe 30 days from the notice or 30 days from the last data collection. Or I, I don't really understand what it is. But uh, if you want to keep watching, I'm just going to be working on um, trying to make trying to make the stream something I can keep clean better so that I can put it back into functionality because I miss it and I think the birds miss it. Uh, yeah, and you can hear I have been catching birds and moving them into the um, bird room because I'm going to be working in here with epoxy, which is totally inert once it's cured, but until it's cured, it's not. And I have to protect it, obviously, make sure the birds don't get into it. So it's kind of uh, easier if they're out. And that's my chance to check toenails and do all the things before fall. And also big time cleaning of the aviary. So lots going on. Not that much interesting from you know, the perspective of somebody watching. That's it. All right. So here's my idea. Basically, I'm using tabletop epoxy, clear epoxy. It's a food grade, you know, the kind of thing that they make those when you have a you have to seal wood. It fills all the little crevices and cracks because every one of those is the breeding ground for stuff. And um, my hope is that, and that's going to fill all the depressions. So they aren't going to have the bathing pools. But what I'll do is I'll run the water more often, and then they can play in the, essentially the fountain part of the stream. And then it'll run, there'll be some little pooling that happens, but not extensively. And it should flush out all the water because the pools will be really, really shallow. And so it'll flush it out, hopefully keep it cleaner by itself. Um, yeah, anyway, that's what we're gonna try. Better work though. Once I film, I can't undo it. I can't go back. So, since I have to fill it anyway with the epoxy, I'm going to embed some pebbles and stuff in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be... I don't like doing things that I can't undo, as you probably can imagine. Most of that will be covered up. So I got some gray pebbles and I got some other gray pebbles. The birds won't care. trying to do is seal every little crack up above the waterline or near the waterline and then I'll let this kind of just flow in and fill over the filler stuff and I put a little tiny blue tint in it because epoxy is kind of yellow What I'm hoping is that because this epoxy is very viscous compared to the Habitat Black, that it will fill into every little nook and cranny, make a smooth surface that is super easy to clean. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. And then this torch melts the bubbles, or not melts the bubbles, it helps the bubbles get to the surface.
I learned the hard way. Don't scrape the cup because if there's any unmixed epoxy in the cup, it never cures. And by never, I mean never. And you can't remix it. All you can do is take it away. Somehow, which is not easy to do. These are the little test um, test things that I did, you know, things. Okay, so my conclusion is it kind of works. Like there's a seam right there that would always catch perfectly smooth, some kind of debris or bubbles that popped. It's not perfect. Okay, should I keep going? Those little micro cracks are sealed. <laughs> Except for this one little problem. You know what? Turned out pretty good. I've got most of the quail finches trapped in the warming area, so I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff. Okay. So this side, I actually accidentally plugged with the epoxy. So all of that dribble is actually dry. The actual flow is coming out over there. Plenty 
really deep. That's great. Oops. I didn't finish that section in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work better, I think. There's still plenty of pooling. Okay, that's like half an inch. That's plenty. So the other test is once the water stops flowing, do these empty. This guy is not empty. This is absolutely fabulous. This is great. I think it's going to work great. Okay, this guy does not empty. He's about half an inch deep. Okay, the stream is done. As far as I'm concerned, I think. Oh man, I cannot wait to move the birds back in here and see them play in the water and, and feel good that I can keep it healthy and clean for them. And I will do my best to video um, what's going on this fall and hopefully YouTube will let the channel keep going. Even though I don't have the time to make videos like I used to. Thanks for watching.